All right, hello guys, and welcome to part three of our East Side Hockey Manager Jets playthrough. Can shorten that a little bit. Um, thanks again for everyone for watching. I was looking um, earlier today, um, which is Saturday, by the way, um, and there had already been like you know thirty or thirty-five views. Um, I hadn't posted the video anywhere, so glad to see that people are tuning in and hopefully liking what they see. Um, definitely means a lot to me, and I thank you guys for watching. Um, I apologize for having to wear the hat under the headphones. It looks super douchey. I know, but I've been wearing this hat all night, so I have really bad hat hair. And I'm vain enough that I don't want to show it on camera. So again, sorry about that. So anyways, getting back into um, our franchise here, our career mode. I ended up putting on, um, so that it'll go with the lines and the team selection a little bit more. Um still going to have the coach coach the actual games, but I'd like to be able to kind of select which guys are going to play and which guys aren't, because um, it's kind of frustrating to me to see some guys play when I would rather have others play. So um, let's take a look at the schedule here real quick. Um, I'll try to get a time frame of where we're going to get through in this video. Let's say good stopping points probably the end of December, as we're not going to be making as many moves. Um, and doing a lot of scouting. Maybe we'll make a trade or two, but mostly going to be uh, rolling with the guys we have now. So let's get into it here. Grant Klitson will be out. Todd Bertuzzi, Pierre Marc Bouchard. Take a look at the scouting report real quick. Offensive playing with the third line talent. Might be worth looking at him at the end of the season. Zach Hamill. Check out the scouting report on him. Skill board, third line talent. That's not bad. Um, definitely someone to keep a look on the radar. Full ski. Yeah, they're giving similar scouting reports for all these guys. Uh, Nick Antropov, third line talent. Alex Radulov's an excellent player. Second line talent. Uh, let's see if we can sign him uh, after the season here. Oh, $6.1 million over five seasons. No, thank you. Not looking to tie up that much money. Let's see Damian Brunner here. Two way forward, three line talent. Yeah, worth keeping an eye on, but no one we really need to um, pound down their door to get on this team, so. Go forward one day here. Another one of those long simming days. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's kind of weird that you can't. <laughs> Make the actual game screen be full screen, or maybe you can, and I'm missing it. Let me just check the preferences real quick, or detail level. No, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, full screen. It's not going to be any bigger than that. I guess that that might be um just an early access thing. Your play of the month, Marcus Johansson. Yeah, it's a damn good month. Five goals, 11 assists. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Wow. Caps are killing it this week. I mean, sorry, this month. Oliver Ekman Larson. Patrick Elias is an L a liability to the Devils. Oof. It's tough. All right. One, two, three. I'd like to have Bufflin play right wing one of these days, so we got four. Right now we're going to go with Party and Stewart. We might want to be calling someone else up. Uh, but how long is Clitz in a few days? Yeah. So we already have post my out too. So I'd like to dress Blue's D2, so it's going to kind of shuffle the lines here. So I'm going to take Odell out and Chris Thorber. So let's go to tactics here. Blue's D. All right, it's going to be kind of jumbled here. Go fro leak on the fourth line again. 
Go Galliardi on the third line. And then we're going to put Bufflet on line two. With, no. Hmm. I'm going to move Larry up to the second line, actually. I think his play is definitely been um, warning it. And we're going to move Stempniak back down here. And then Galliardi is going to play left wing on the third. Uh, and then we'll go Bufflin on the right wing on this line. Just try it out. Um, because I don't think he's going to be doing us too too much on defense. I mean, he has a great shot, but um, you know, besides that, not a crazy, you know, defensive player or anything like that. All right, Mark Stewart for a league. All right, Hutchinson over Pavlich. Yeah, Hutchinson's been pretty good. Let's look at Pavlich's real quick here. Sorry for not getting the game right. Yeah, Pavlich has been pretty good too, but. Uh, all right, let's confirm that. Get a sim here. Ooh, five three loss, but Rangers are definitely a good team. So, but we've been sliding recently. We need to pick it up, or not? I don't know. <laughs> Losing might not be the worst thing for this team, as we're not really built to win now. I don't think I'd be fired in the first year. This in the flyer save that I was playing a. Played for a full year and we were way worse than this. But let's check out the box score real quick. Wheeler, Stepniak, Toulouse, Galliardi to assist, Stepniak and assist. Myers, damn. All right. Nick Letty's two points. Career milestone of 100. Congrats, Nick. All right, post my light practice. Oh, full practice in about a month, jeez. Jordy Ben. Jordy. Alright. Hmm. Who wants Eric O'Dell? What? Weird. I don't think I put him on the training block or anything, but oh well. I think I'm gonna roll with the same lines, see if that'll, that'll work this time. Ooh, definitely did not against Chicago. Again, another good team, but that wasn't even close, doesn't look like. House Chuck. Unassisted and four straight Chicago goals. Uh oh. I'll let the um, coach juggle the lines a little bit again. Hmm. Actually, let's see here. Maybe I'll try this one more time and switch Pavlich in for Hutchinson, but. If not, I might just give control of the um, lineup and the roster scratches back to the coach because, you know, we've been slumping pretty bad here. We got a full practice. Six and five breads. Come on, give me a win. Damn, another five to three. Jesus. Defense has been pretty bad. Tend to score first, but it's not been uh, necessarily that great of a sign. So I'm going to turn control of the roster back to uh, the coach here. I'll let the coach do you know whatever he wants to do. Two hundred points for Michael Froelich. All right. Chris Summers. I've never even heard of him. And that's probably why. Sabres 2, 11, and 12. Coming out hot for that number one pick there. Ooh, the Oilers 2, 8, and 2. Wow, three more losses for the Sabres. Ooh, and they lose again. Interesting. Ted Nolan canned. Damn. That was quick. Hmm. 
Chad Johnson. Interesting. Uh oh. Playing against the Penguins here. It's uh that's the coach here. Hopefully you can get a win, but against the Penguins might be a little bit tough here. Oh, <laughs> ten to one! You gotta be kidding me! And they scored nine unanswered goals before Andrew Ladd put one in. Jesus! Not what we were looking for here. Not coming out hot this year. This uh, this month. Sorry. Jesus. Might need some defensive help sooner rather than later because our our defense has not been very good. Mikhail Bodker. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and defend Tyler Myers because I think he's pretty important to what we're doing here. Um, so fans delighted that I took a case for Tyler Myers. All right, nice. Hopefully he'll turn his play around because he's a pretty big piece and he is owed a lot of money. So Burmistrov, Pavel Kraskovsky, Kraskovsky. Hmm. Wow, he's pretty young. 96, 18. Locomotive, nice. All right. Scratch party. Let Jay Harrison get some time. Why is Bufflin a scratch? Hmm. <laughs> I don't like that very much. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I'm counting out loud. I am realize I'm not. Uh, so Klitsen and some Harrison. We need to scratch the forward. It's going to be Thorburn. I don't... Hmm. Alright, I guess they're just really set on Dustin Bufflin playing defense, so we're going to scratch... Put some. We're gonna dress house a chuck. All right, make that work. Okay. Odell on the. Th oh god. Give me Perot on line two instead of Odell, please. For a league, Perot step me to lose to. All right. Let's get a win here. Show me a Jets win. All right, five three. There we go. Hopefully my tinkering did it, but I don't know with my. Luck and command of this game. I'm sure Chris Thorburn was probably in there. Let's see who scored. That was a, that's a big win. Hopefully, get us back on track here because we don't want to be doing so bad that you know we have nothing to play for. But uh, Odell Wheeler Wheeler Odell, nice good boy for each of these guys. Eric Odell quietly been playing pretty well. I didn't really have as much confidence in him. Um, coming into the season, but he's been pretty good. Wheeler's been stepping it up too. I mean, he has a huge salary, but nine goals in sixteen games is great. And Toulouse's been playing good too, so that's always good to see. So hopefully we can get this rolling here. Tobias Enstrom, five hundredth NHL appearance. That's a lot of games. I'm gonna take a quick look here and see if there's anyone on the on the um available here. Um, just cause maybe maybe we can make a move here that'll shore up the defense a little bit. Uh, status available. Alexi Yemlin. Okay, that's a, that's a that's one I'm definitely gonna look into. But I have a feeling they're gonna ask a lot from John Erskine. Yeah, looks like Matt Hendricks, Mike Weber. If that was Shea. I'd be interested. Patrick Coletta, Mark Fain. Price tag on fame would be pretty cheap, but I don't necessarily know if that's someone I really want to be looking into right now. I don't know how much he would help, but I definitely know Alexi Emily would help. Huge salary, but I gotta take a crack at this here. 
What are they looking for? Blue line, a center, and a top four defenseman. Hmm. Ooh, we got two first this year. Two seconds. Nice. That's good draft currency here. Let's see who we have the rights to. A shitload of players here. Alexander Bermistra. Prospect. Hmm. I'm gonna throw this guy in. He's got three stars, and I don't think he's uh, I mean, he's 24, and he's in the ECHL, so not a great sign there. Um, kind of like Patrick Holland. I don't really want to part with him. He hasn't been that great, so. Actually, I'm gonna put Keaton Eller being here. He's a little bit more of a prospect than Harrison. Not that he's a prospect, but because he's been in the NHL a few times, so. Let's see if they gotta say that. I don't really approve this deal. This gave the interest in that. This offer requires serious thought. I'm gonna throw in just a late round pick here. Oh, we have three, three sevens. So let's let's give him a seven next year and offer that. Hopefully they'll say yes to that, because I think getting Emlyn. Um, you know, that would, that would be a good get for us. I mean, I don't think we're giving up that much to get him, to be honest with you. Now we just got to play the waiting game. Unfortunately. Goal streak, Cam Atkinson, former BC guy. I remember seeing him play for BC, I think. Yep. Yep. Mark Sheffley. I did not look up how to say that. Been rejected. Not good enough to suit their needs. Let me, let me make that 7 out of 5. But a little bit down the road here. Because I definitely want M1. And I don't think that's a ton. Um, I mean, that goalie, goalie prospect is probably not going to be anything for us, especially since we have Hutchinson, who's already pretty young. Keaton LRB, again, kind of not really on our radar either. Let me just take a look at Keaton LRB. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's buried down there. All right, ten four and one Habs. That's gonna be a tough one. Let's look at the roster here. Part of Mr. Time runs postponed. Day to day. I want Perot in? I do not want Chris Thorburn in. Attack takes us asked to coach Perot. Okay. Oof, three to two. That's not a bad loss. Uh, to a good Canadians team, but damn. Certainly better than getting 10-1 uh, by Pittsburgh. I will say that much. Wheeler again. Stempniak. He's been well. He's been playing pretty well. Lee Stempniak. All right. Number four. There's some serious the four and we'll give him a seven. I don't know if it requires serious thought. You think maybe one of these times they would actually accept it, but Why isn't Lowry playing? This is what frustrates me about <laughs> not uh, making my own roster here. I'm gonna turn that back on. I, I kind of have to. I can't. I can't. Okay, not yet. Maybe after this game, but Oof, four two loss to the Hurricanes. That's not good. That is not good. I'm gonna go back to doing this. It's just kind of pissing me off the way that they're playing, guys. On this, 
unfortunately. Prover on the block. Come on, work with me here. Give me something. Yeah. Third in 2018 here. In a fucking six here. I mean, I don't know what more they want. They're not really helping me, unfortunately, so I don't, I can't, I'm not a mind reader. So I just kind of got to do what I can to finagle it. But every day we don't have them is not really great for us here. At least Stemniak. All right. He's going to be a scratch. Jay Beagle's going to play. Not coolly, even though you've been playing really well. Got to set a strong example for the locker room. It would be helpful if the Canadians would even just send something my way that I can either approve or not approve. That they're not even countering, which is kind of pissing me off seeing that they made them available. TJ Galliard has a realistic claim. I think he does. I think he's been pretty good this year. I'm going to respond. I'm going to defend him. Man, fans really like me defending him, huh? Come on! Jesus. What more is it going to take? A two? You know, forever from now? Two thirds here. Requires serious thought. Apparently means no. I'm going to fucking reject it every goddamn time. Pardon my French. J. Harrison. Let me look at the uh, depth chart here. Uh, Harrison's count was a one, two. Yeah, okay. Or burn and Odell's been playing well, so I'm gonna scratch Beagle. Let's go on the tactics here. Stamp me up. Why would Harrison be playing right wing? Why would that be a thing? That is not what I was looking for. Alright. Jake Truba. Right. So, for, I like Lowry being the second line center. That I do like. We step me up. Got to play right wing though. And Bufflin is right winger too. Shefflin. Okay, I like that. Let's confirm those lines. Even though we're not playing today, apparently. Thought we were. I want Pavlich back in net, too. Come on here. All right, 3-1, baby. That's what happens when a uh, GM issues the roster from down the mountain. Getting results. That's all I can ask for. Because some of the lineups, I mean, just really weird. I mean, I, I don't want Bufflin really playing defense. I don't think he's helping us that much. Harrison from Perron, Wheeler. Sheffley from Bufflin, Toulouse, nice. I like that line. Wheeler from Lad and Truba, great. How's Jake Truba doing? Yeah. Matt Zuccarello. Matt Cook. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. Hmm. Just throw me a bone here. What is it going to take? Give it, you know, a two? In the 2017? All right. 
I keep upping the draft picks. I don't know. Maybe my only recourse is to um put another guy in there. But damn, six four lost to the wild. I don't know. Maybe I was bragging about my uh, lineup skills too too soon. But wow, we went up four nothing, and then allowed six unanswered goals. Jeez Louise. Not good. I think I actually am going to split this up into two um, months. Because uh, I, I don't want you know to bore you guys or make it like a 50 minute or an hour long video. Um, just do it. I'm going to defend. Larry is a young guy, so. Center prospect. Have we got any of those here? Throw Telgen in here. I'm gonna take that second round pick back though. Let's see, let's gauge that. Let's offer that. Let's see what we're getting back from them here. Alright. Roll with the same lines here. That when it scrolls like this, it just absolutely kills me to wait. I don't even remember seeing us on there. Oh boy, four to two. Maybe it's time to give uh, Pavlic a start. I mean, Hutchinson, of course. Sorry, brain's a little bit jumbled right now. Mike Sislo, UNH guy. He played when I went there. Nice. Nice. Getting Yamlin, baby. Telgen. Telgen, sorry. Not that I didn't like him. Um, but to get a guy like Yamlin. I mean, LRB and the other guy are kind of cast off, so. I feel like getting Yamlin's definitely a good get for us here. From that. Jesus, back off TJ Gallieri. I don't like the uh, media coming after the guys like that. I don't think this team is really that um, great, but you know, coming after a guy like that is not uh, what we're looking for here. Adam Party's going to be sent down. Get away from him. Just don't have room for him on the roster right now. And I don't think we have room for Postma either, so. Let's J Beagle. Yeah, he hasn't been that great either. Let's see Nemlin play lefty. Yes he can. He's gonna go line one with that. Move Harrison back to three with Stewart. Um put Yemlin with Truba here. Fantastic. Confirm that. Uh, who are we playing today? Uh oh, Red Wings. Oh, they're 14, 6, and 1. Alright. Five to one. Not not great. Oh Delphin Lindstrom, Jesus. Jeez Louise. Just are unhappy with losing. Can you imagine that? They don't like losing. It's too bad. Because this team is not playoff caliber, no matter what the board might think. I was wavering about that in the beginning. I was not sure if they would be playoff caliber, but I know by now it just ain't going to happen. 
hopefully Emlyn can kind of settle in here. Um, let's see. Oh, Adam Party claimed off waivers and is somehow in their NHL team. You're gonna, I'm gonna claim him back. Get into bidding war at Detroit. I'm pissed that they beat me. Let's claim Adam Party back. Screw you, Detroit. I'm petty like that. If you're not gonna use him, just try to stash him in your NHL team. Yeah, I'm gonna take him right back. That's what we were doing. I'm not gonna let you do that. Doesn't make sense. Plus, I gotta look out for my own AHL team here. Or I might just send someone else down. Who knows? Or maybe someone else will claim him. He'll just get passed around. Alishemsky. I'm kind of sick of the media in Winnipeg right now. Not a fan. Brendan Gallagher, interesting. Matt Ellis. I'm gonna scratch. How's Larry? But yeah, he's been shitty. We're gonna scratch him. Let's take a look at some form here. Um, Wheeler's been pretty bad. The Eagles been rough too, but need someone to kind of step in here because Lowry has been really terrible. Let's, uh, I'm gonna move Sheffley up to the second line here because I don't want Beagle centering the second line. I'm going to move Odell up, too. Odell's been pretty good this season. I'm going to give uh, Hutchinson a start here, too. Maybe that'll switch things up a little bit. Nope, we're going to get drubbed by the Blues, 7-3. Fantastic. Perot from Wheeling going in. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, I'm not happy with losing 7-3 either board, so. A feeling is mutual. Alright, Adam Party. Going right on waivers. And you're going to St. John's. Like we intended to happen the first time. Vanek. Olsen rumor. Sam Olsen. Interesting. All right. Up and at him here against the Blue Jackets. Didn't see it on the scroll. That's not a good sign as we lose 5 to 3. Damn it. Damn it. Not a good month so far. I think we only have two wins this entire month. Brian Little, light practice. Nice. Don't want to rush him back, but that will be nice. <laughs> All right, Detroit, we're going to have this pissing contest again. Because I'm not letting you fly like that. Can't do it. Cannot win with them. Can't do it. It's my Mike Singletary impression, in case you were wondering. 
got to fill the dead air in between um, simming and looking in our, our uh, inbox here. Marlow heats up. Van hot streak snapped. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I can't. I can't go back and um, change that because then we're gonna get Buffalo back on defense. Ben Sheeran. Uh, Right defense, left defense. He's a minus five. Patrice Cormier. Ooh, game against the Bruins. I'm not showing our games in these lines. Oh, Jesus. Six to nothing. Fantastic. Jeez Louise. Can't even buy a win. I'm going to have to switch back to letting the coach do the work again. Yeah, I just I gotta I have to roll with it like this because I'm just not getting the results that I want here. Maybe the uh, coach knows more than I do. If not, I might just fire him. Uh, I can always do that. There's a lot of good coaches out there like um, Guy Boucher and Mark Crawford are both coaching abroad. And you can normally get them to sign pretty quick. That's what any good GM does. When the team does bad, you just throw it on the coach and fire him. Got one more game here coming up. What? No, we don't. Yeah, I'll do the first game in December. Hopefully end with a win, because, you know, two wins in a month is not good. That is half of what we did last month, and last month was not a good month either, so... Patrick Roy. Interesting. Paul Maurice isn't that bad of a coach, though. I don't know what, what firing him would really do. Defend Hutchinson. Oh, Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. I'll let him keep party. I don't really care enough at this point to keep doing that. That was kind of funny while it lasted, but I mean, it isn't really burning a uh, roster spot or anything because I'm not keeping him ever. <laughs> but oh well. Enjoy your stay in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Nick Backstrom, Antti Ranta. Best defensive player, huh? Didn't know goalies could count as a defensive player. Disappointed. Yeah, no shit. I'm disappointed too. Whalers. Damn, Barry Whalers. Alright. I'm going to let the last game play. Build a little drama. Because I've just been clicking through it now. That's probably pretty boring. 
By the way, if you have any feedback or things I can do differently, or if you have tips for me to, um, you know, improve this team here, please throw them my way because I'm always looking to improve because this team is not great right now. But let's get tactics here. Let's ask the coach. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. I guess I'll go one more game. <laughs> I completely forgot the hitting continue. I was going to send that. And losing the Oilers. A team that is probably pretty terrible. Oh, no. 10 16. A lot better than us. When's the next game? Hundredth career NHL appearance. Nice. I need to be paying closer attention. I'm just so used to clicking continue, and clicking continue, and clicking continue. I'm going to send Postman down to St. John's here. We're going to view this. Tactics. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Change everything. Because fuck it. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Power play goal. I can dig it. All right, why nothing after first? Keep the momentum rolling here. Ah, oh, another power play for the Avalanche. Power play goal. Damn it! Two one. All right, we need. To oh no! Oh no! Three to one. Not a good sign here. Four to one. That'll do it. Ease. Jeez Louise, four to two, what do you know? Alright, check out the box score here. We had Stepniak, Froelich, Trubo, Odell from Stewart, and House Chuck. Oh boy. Not what I was looking to see, but oh well. Alright, so that is going to be, we're going to save this real quick. It's going to be the ending point. Um, thanks again for watching. Like I said, any suggestions or anything like that? feedback, constructive criticism. I definitely welcome it. Definitely try to make this as fun for you guys um, as possible. So thank you again for watching and until next time.